hello everyone and welcome to our channel med study in this video we are going to see about obstetrics clinical examination we are going to continue the previous video where we have seen obstetric hysterectomy so let's get started first comes the general physical examination where we have to look for the build and nourishment of the woman height short stature is likely to be associated with a small pelvis in india 4 feet 7 inches and less is considered as a low average height weight repeated weight checking in subsequent visits should be done on same weighing machine to monitor the weight gain now continuing with general physical examination we have to see pallor on lower palpebral conjunctiva dorsum of the tongue and nail beds we have to see for jaundice on bulbar conjunctiva under surface of the tongue hard palate and skin we have to see neck and rule out neck veins thyroid gland enlargement lymph gland enlargement we have to note that physiological increase in thyroid gland occurs in pregnancy in 15% 50% of the cases we have to see for edema of legs or medial malleolus and anterior surface of lower one third of tibia now causes of edema in pregnancy include physiological edema pre eclampsia anemia and hyperproteinemia cardiac failure nephrotic syndrome dependent edema is physiologic in pregnancy but generalized edema or anasarca is the first sign of disease physiologic edema in pregnancy it occurs as a result of increased venous pressure of inferior extremities by gravid uterus pressing on the internal iliac veins it is a slight degree edema usually confined to one leg that too more common on right side it disappears on rest now continuing with general physical examination we have to look for pulse we have to take bp and in case of blood pressure we have to note that disappearance of sound that is called cough phase 5 rather than muffling of sound that is called cough phase 4 is best representation of diastolic blood pressure in pregnancy you have to uh, assess the respiratory rate, rate of the woman now continuing with the second point that is systemic examination here we have to check uh, cardiovascular system respiratory system per abdomen as well as uh, cns in a brief so now coming to breast examination it helps to note presence of pregnancy changes also note the nipples where they are cracked or depressed and skin condition of the areola now coming to per abdomen examination here we have to make sure about the few points like we have to gain proper consent from the woman ask woman to empty the bladder expose abdomen appropriately gently warm the hands by rubbing against each other and then start with per abdominal examination per abdominal examination should be done under following headings like first is infection we have to look for the contour of abdomen we have to see for apparent height of the uterus we have to look for the fullness of flanks we have to look the condition of umbilicus whether it is inverted or everted we have to see fetal movements we have to look for scar or any previous incision marks we have to see for linea nigra we have to see for stri gravidarum as well as dilated veins now coming to palpation here we have to take height of fundus which is taken in weeks and symphysio fundal height which is taken in centimeters now coming to obstetric grips there are four grips which are fundal grip is which is first leopold maneuver lateral grip grip which is second leopold maneuver first pelvic grip which is fourth leopold maneuver and second pelvic grip which is also known as pelvic grip and it is third leopold maneuver here is the image showing leopold maneuvers so this is the first leopold maneuver this is second leopold maneuver this is third leopold's maneuver and this is the fourth leopold maneuver now continuing with palpation we have to palpate for fetal movements we have to look for fetal lie we have to look for fetal position as well as engagement of the fetus so here we have to note that on obstetric grips head is hard globular and non bulletable structure while breech or buttocks are soft and bulletable structures 
limbs are seen as knob like irregular structures while cord or back of the baby is hard continuous structure now uh, continuing with per abdominal examination we have to go for auscultation we have to auscultate for fetal heart sounds we have to get the exact location at which the heart sounds are present we have to calculate the rate as well as the rhythm of the fetal heart sounds now coming to vaginal examination it is to be done only if the woman is more than 37 weeks of gestation and only inspection or examination is done in few cases few high risk cases like antepartum hemorrhage and premature rupture of membrane now uh, completing the obstetric case we have to write the summary of case we have to write which investigations we will do as per our suspicion um, of the disease or anything uh, we have to we have to write the provisional diagnosis we have to write the differential diagnosis and we have to write the treatment plan that's all about obstetrics clinical examination thank you i hope you liked the video please do like share and subscribe to our channel med study and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will never miss an update you can reach out to me through the comments as well as you can email me on the given email id i'll try to respond to you as soon as possible thank you and happy studying